Well, typing at a computer, using a mouse, using your cell phone, they're all part of daily life, but it can also cause hand or wrist pain or carpal tunnel syndrome. And joining us this morning is Eric Okamura. He's the owner of Fit for Life Exercise and Massage Studio, and he's an orthopedic massage therapist, and he's got some tips on how to feel better. Good morning, Eric, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So a lot of people think that carpal tunnel is just really related to the wrist or the fingers, but it comes from someplace else, right? Actually, carpal tunnel starts from the median nerve roots, which are located in the lower neck and sh uh, lower neck. And then it travels down the neck, down into the shoulders, the chest, down the arm, into the forearms, and then finally into the wrist and the hands. And usually that's where people treat because that's where they feel the pain and the tingling. But what we do as orthopedic therapists is assess where along the nerve pathway is being pinched, treat those pinches, and the symptoms go away. And then so we also couple that with some exercises and massage, uh, uh, some stretches to do to prevent future occurrences. So there's a lot of things about daily office life that we're probably doing wrong, including slouching at your keyboard, especially when you're tired, right? So right. what can you do when you're typing? Well, you know, the main thing to remember is body mechanics. So mm -hmm. you want to keep your back and shoulders back, uh, head up. Mm -hmm. um, you can look down, but that's why you need to position the monitor correctly. Right. What I usually advise people to do is to stand up against a wall. Uh, their the heels, buttocks, shoulder blades, and head uh, up against the wall, and that's where you should be. That's proper body mechanics to align your body with gravity. Okay, and what about a cell phone? You know, we yep. all talk on the phone, right? Right, so you see a lot of times people are like this texting or playing games, their sh uh, folder, the shoulders are forward tilted, and they're on it for what they think is just a few minutes, mm -hmm. but time it's like a time warp. So you're on here for like maybe hours on end doing this kind of stuff, and Usually what happens is the, the shoulders tilt forward and pinching the nerves or causing pinches down the nerves into the chest, down the arms and so forth. And same thing with book reading. A lot of people read uh, at bed, so they're, they're back this way, their head's tilted forward and, um, you know, again, causing more pinching and bad body mechanics. So you can use massage and different positioning to try to alleviate a lot of the pain. Yeah, and also stretches, proper mm -hmm. stretches. So not that you're going to stop doing these things because that's in today's life. Right. So what you want to do is stretch out every 20 seconds what the doctors recommend to stretch stretch these muscles stretch the chest muscles bring the shoulder blades back just to bring things back in normal um, and uh, actually what they recommend is every 20 minutes to stand up at least stretch out and then sit back down again because right. that realigns the body well Eric that's neutral. good advice and I think we should all remember that because we can get so wrapped up in our work well we really exactly. appreciate your advice this morning Eric Okamura thank you so much thank you very much and coming up